Okay. It's that time of year again. What are the most optimal keybinds for Fortnite and why should you change right now? Well, since you are coming into this video, you are most likely thinking about, hey, maybe I should swap my keybinds. And that is a super good thought that I've been having myself for the last couple of weeks. As of now, there are no tournaments announced within the near future, and now is literally the perfect time to do it. A lot of pros are talking about it on Twitter, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over what, theoretically, is the most optimal keybinds for Fortnite in 2019 and 2020. So fasten your seatbelts, guys. Let's get right on into this video. Well, actually, if you want to support me and what I do tremendously, I just firstly want to say that you can use code MARINTM in the bottom right corner of the Fortnite item shop. Getting into this video, I just want to say that I've seen a ton of YouTubers make videos about pints recently, and I just want to quickly say that pints aren't all that important, especially not as important as some of these YouTubers make it. However, having good pints, if possible, is of course optimal, but this video is just gonna go over the most optimal binds, but I just want to say that Booga, for instance, uses three build binds on the same finger, Mongrel, as well, uses three build binds on the same finger, and those are two of the most mechanically skilled players in the game. With that said though, if you are here to optimize your binds, you are definitely at the right place. Let's hop right on into it. Alrighty, so to make this video, I contacted a good old friend of mine, Fred Str, and asked him, give me the 100% perfect bind for comp right now, like theoretically, like on paper, so I can use it in a video plus. So he responded with that you should have wool on your mouse button, floor on shift, ramp, mouse button, cone, V, or you can use any other thumb bind. For edits, you should use E or F and pick up scroll wheel. And he also emphasized his argument, saying that this is because it allows for constant control of WASD keys, while also allowing for quick combination, i.e. mongrel classic in box fights with wall ramp being on mouse buttons, and also quick editing with E and F both being close to WASD. Also, put your shotgun on a bind that is not on the same finger as edit, so that when you edit a wall or ramp, you can pull out a shotgun quickly before or after the edit with minimal delay. Floor and cone can switch, just keep them off WASD. So thank you so much Register for giving me these keybinds. And in addition, he also added that it's all about free movement and ease of combinations. So with that said everyone, there you have your optimal keybinds. I don't want to make this a 10 minute video because these are the most optimal bytes out there, especially theoretically. Of course, you want to use the keybinds you are comfortable with. And once again, keybinds aren't all that important. With that said, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I don't know if it was a little too short, but maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Let me know down in the comment section below. With that said, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. Until then, take care.